So in this video, we are going to see how to access uh, files offline. So you see, this is my office. Oh, sorry. This is my Windows 10 machine. And this is my server. Server is running and we have, uh, this is our shared drive and some of the folders are there shared like USMT, Trump, EDC, SML. So if we go to the uh, desktops, like desktop machines, and it's like you have a server running there's files and you can see their server this is the server server address if I double click on this file it's asking me which file to uh, open the which program and I can access this file right let's go ahead close it us out keep this page here shut down the server so if you have the on-site server that's a file server or you access file from uh, off-site like you're using VPN to connect to your uh, network what happens if the server goes down can you access this file it's not opening it's taking its time server is offline it's trying to access it no luck I want to it to populate that error for me while it's work doing its thing the speed of the file ex opening or access depends on the speed of the network so if you were internally and you have a 100 megabit switch and all of the computer are using so you know obviously it will be a little bit slower if you were on a gigabit network in your office building and then you might have uh, like this for example 500 users there that's probably good enough but if it's like 5000 in that or it's a giant building and 5000 users using the uh, network and obviously it's gonna be a little bit sluggish or slower so you can see it's uh, still going on on and on uh, my server is off I can show you in the virtual machine server says off state and while well, this one is running so we are still waiting for it to give me that error so what happens is since eventually it will give me that error that cannot access that file in Windows 10 8.1 I believe in 7 as well like 8 8.1 same thing there's an option like if you double right click it it says something like um, available offline so it's not giving me right now send to let's see if I have this computer available offline I think I got the network error there so it says Windows cannot access server this let's fire up the server again I'm gonna just start my server it's gonna take a little bit of time so I'm gonna pause the video here so my server is back it's still loading but let's try to access that file again so we go over here and sites I double click on it instantly it asks me about what program to use and it opens up so server needs to be up and running all the time to access those files and then network speed determines uh, your connection if, a, if on a good day there are not many users you get to those files quickly if uh, you're uh, if there's everybody's at work it's Monday then a little less and if you're off-site and you access file it will depend your on your t uh, speed of your internet connection there is one way always available offline so it's gonna so what happens is you get a copy of these files all the time <coughs> on your computer so you can access them faster even when the server is offline and as soon as it gets the connection it updates the copy that you have on your local computer so once again let's shut down the server and let's close this window out we know it's in quick access and if so we're here but this is the address so let's see can we after clicking off can we access this file I can show you that my server is again off let's go to quick access that shows up here if I double click it what happens this is embarrassing oh where they may be at another place because this is going back to the server we need to find where it is available local copy 
see it's saying that server is not available yep all right so so it's giving me now an option to open this if i click here okay and i get the same file i can show you that my server is still off so <clears throat> the local copy is stored uh, the computer tries to go to that website oh, sorry uh, quick access so it's you see uh, it has these this uh, uh, tiny logo that looks like a sink or you know refresh or whatever you want to call appears at the file <coughs> excuse me and you know uh, you can oh, I keep clicking on that one so it, it appears over here and that what happens is that uh, you see that uh, this across red X means that it is not connected to through the server like that is server that's offline if I spot up the server this should be green uh, or no, not green like it did not the X should be here but this means that the file is available offline I I can try to open that file again let me see if there are like uh, yep that's the only file we have over here double click instantly instantaneously it gave me the option oh no don't and I have that file server is still offline so this is it like how you get these files offline um, while the server is online you go to your network location you have to go to that location or you have to access that file from the quick access link uh, if you don't know quick access basically has all list all the files that you have recently accessed so you just right click on it and <coughs> oh right there so <coughs> they will appear all of the files all of the different files uh, with their folder name will appear right here under quick access and then you can go and access those files back there is nothing that says that i can remove these files from here so that's i'm going to talk in the next video all right so this is how you make available the folder files uh, or folders for that matter as well uh, offline the full, whole contents of that folder will be offline like a copy of them will be and each time uh, it gets a connection to the server they will be synced up all right if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one